I think one of the one of the big things for me is that no matter no matter how long how how much time it passes and no matter where we go in the world there are some things about us that are timeless um you know and and we need to really be humble to that and stop trying to control that because we won't we are human we are finite on this planet this planet is finite and we keep playing this game of changing these structures because these structures are more effective and and that's fine we have involved in our structures and i think we need to continue to look for more effective and and um efficient ways of existing but we also need to be humble to the fact that we there are things we cannot change there are things that are inherently human about us and i told this story i'm going to finish with a little story um that is my takeaway um and i think it exemplifies that message i was um i have family in in spain and my brother lives in bilbao with my sister in law and i was up there once visiting and i was walking along the canal there in bilbao with my two little daughters and it was this idyllic day where the sun was shining the river looked beautiful and we were in this gorgeous little you know downtown area with the uh, guggenheim museum my daughters were being rotten and they were just crying and i was like oh my god this was supposed to be like a perfect day kid get it together and they were like ah, we want ice cream and we want like it's hot and we I, we're tired and i was like oh my god get it together and like okay fine you want ice cream i'm gonna give you ice cream so i gave them ice cream and i thought okay everything's gonna be fine we're gonna have our walk and it's gonna be fantastic and And I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ, okay, we are in Spain, just get it together, I want to have this beautiful day, and finally I gave up, and I was like, okay, this is ridiculous, I'm like, you know, I'm walking in this beautiful area with this beautiful museum, and like, really two rotten kids that I love, but they're being rotten right now, so I sat there, I said, you're going to sit down, and I'm going to look at rings, because there was this guy selling these beautiful jewelry, um, like, beautiful jewelry, silver jewelry on that, on that area there, and I was like, I need time from you because I don't like you very much right now. So I started looking at these rings and I gravitated towards this one right away. And I was like, wow, this is fantastic. And the gentleman who was selling them, the artist, I, he looked at me, he didn't see my rotten kids because they were like right there. And he just kind of looked at me and he said, do you know what this is? I said, it's a ring. He's like, no, do you know what this is? I said, okay, what, what's about this ring? So this is, and this was in, so the, the, the location and time, this was 2020, uh, 2019, just before the pandemic. So the summer before the pandemic. And he said, this is an ice cream little scoop from the 1920s. It was made of silver at the time. And the minute that he said that, it was like a flash in my body, which I believe, I don't know, collective knowledge or we're part of a larger story, but it was a like a flash in my body and I could hear this woman in this gorgeous dress in the 1920s walking in the same space as I was walking a hundred years ago, whispering in my ear, honey, doesn't matter the ice cream or the little scoop, they're rotten all the same. A hundred years ago or now, they're all the same. And she had like these little kids crying and while she was trying to walk in this gorgeous. And I thought, right, give me the ring. <laughs> I said, give me the ring. And, and you know, that mother, a hundred years ago, however she was dressed, whatever structures were around her, was still dealing with little kids who just wanted ice cream and then their hands got sticky. And some things are just going to be the same a hundred years from now. And until we know how to, to accept that, I don't really think we can innovate. We need to embrace it. Mm -hmm.